Hey everyone, Jay here. Um, I want to make a quick video. I actually got out of bed. Um, I thought that thought this might have been important to follow up on um, for anyone out there with active trades. So to follow up from our last video, I put the last video up here in the top right. Uh, you can see the bull with the triangle in it. You know, we did have this nice consolidation we talked about in the previous video um, in this range here, and it did look like a symmetrical triangle. Might have been playing out. We could see that the overall you know, consolidation pattern, even though it did break above and below. You know, that's not really important. What's most important is that you do have this consolidation inside this area um, with a break to the upside. And that's look like, that looks like exactly what happened here. So then where do we go from here? So, you know, if we really zoom out and look at our, um, you know, our overall shape here, you know, um, we are making a higher high, but we're gonna have to keep a close eye on volume here because this could very well just be another rising wedge here. You know, how do you know if it's a rising wedge? Well, A, you keep an eye on the volume, but there are some other subtle clues we can use to see if it's a rising wedge. One, um, one, one tool we can use is we can compare it to previous rising wedges to see if it's you know, a similar angle. So I took this rising wedge here, and I took these lines from this rising wedge right here, and I applied them down here, which are these larger lines, and they match up quite well, which makes me think this might be another rising wedge um, here with a break to the downside, more like a continuation pattern. So I'll go ahead and remove these long lines, which are from this rising wedge up here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. So where does this put our next high at? So our next high would most likely be right up here at 17.5, um, which looks like a a nice high because that would actually be a lower a lower high still for this entire range since November 11th over here. Now, if we really zoom in on it, we'll go to like the, you know, 5, 15 minute. This does look like another kind of bull flag in this area. We'll have to see if this, you know, plays out here. We have a nice weekly POC right here. This blue line right here too, um, which might even be the beginning of the monthly. Hmm. So how would I trade this? So I would look for longs just like anything else. I'd look for longs and supports. Otherwise, I would be targeting shorts up here at um, 17.5 in this range which would be our you know, previous range high up here from November 11th. So again, I'll be looking for shorts up here on 17.5. Now, if we do break above this, you know, the next high in this area would be this, we have this previous range VAL right here. We do have a bit of a gap up here. So if we do break above 18K, which is gonna be quite a struggle to break above 18K, but if we do, you know, we're gonna see a pretty strong rejection here at 18.6. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how we're trading this range. Let's go ahead and look at the volume. So when we looked at the volume yesterday, we saw that the open interest was going up. We saw that volume was going up as well, mainly for the um, whales. It wasn't retail so much. Again, this looks like another bull flag right here. So let's, let's go ahead and look at it. So our, you can see this green line down here, which is our, our volume for this, uh, for this area and the orange line. So orange are gonna be your whales, which are anyone buying over 100k and then our green is going to be more of your retail and you know down here at the bottom of the range we can see that we had some very positive um you know confluence on the delta going up here um pretty strong right no real drawbacks here um we could even see it back here it looks like this run was actually started by whales we had a really strong i was watching this earlier we had a really strong gain here from whales in this orange line retail really wasn't you know really wasn't buying it though um, until you know later on, uh, right around this area, which is when we start having the pump. But it looks like whales were really buying in on this um, down in this range over here. Once we made a higher low, um, open interest looks pretty good. You know, people opening up contracts and everything like that. The crazy thing about this, you know, yellow line is you do see some of the top traders getting more, you know, bearish on it, looking for shorts. We know which makes sense. I mean, anytime you go up. So again, I would be looking for shorts up in this area. Um, either you know 17.4, 17.5, which would be the top of this um, you know top channel here, um, and then maybe you know revisit down to the bottom line here. Um, but otherwise, it is you know pretty interesting to see um, you know how this plays out. To see if it's another rising wedge. I think it very likely is. Um, you know we've been bearish for the last year, so you know I don't think just a few days of bullish means that we're going to 100k yet. Maybe in a few years, we'll see. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Take care.
Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congrats. Most people finish early, but you made it the full distance. That's awesome. If you're looking to learn how to trade crypto, check out one of these other videos.